In this video, let's see how to use AMD GPU to run the DeepSeq R1 models on Windows. First, let's see the spec of my PC. The CPU is an Intel TEM100, which has four cores. The GPU is AMD 6700 XT GPU, which has around 12 gigabytes of VRAM. The operating system is Windows 10, Windows 11 should also work. To make an AMD GPU be able to run the DeepSeq, you will need to install two things. The first one is the AMD GPU driver. Make sure the version is at least 25.1.1. The second software you need to install is called LM Studio. It needs to be at least 0.3.8. After you download the the installation file, the installation is also very simple. So for example, for the LM Studio, just as like all the other Windows installer file, double click it. Either allow anyone access it or only you, and uh, you can select the destination folder and then install it. So that's uh, quite easy to do, okay. So after you install both of them, I think uh, you can start the LM Studio and you can start uh, experimenting with it. Right, so once you install that, it should be a very, very similar interface to ChatGPT. So it's a, it's a chat-based interface. You will manage your chats on the left panel. For example, you can easily to add a new chat. You can rename them. You can like add groups to them. You can reorganize them. Very, very easy to do that. And uh, because it's uh, uh, just a uh, uh, interface, you would need the model. You should uh, go to the discover on the far left side, click the discover, and uh, you search for DeepSeq. As you can see, it just shows you all the available models that you are able to download and to use. And uh, we we can see that uh, there are several DeepSeq uh, distilled uh, chain worm models. For example, the seven billion parameter one or eight billion parameter one. And uh, if you want to try the smallest uh, first, we can do the one point five, and we see that you can see that there is a one point five billion model. You can click uh, the download. So, for example. You can just click the download, it will start the download process. Once it uh, completes, you can click uh, the use in new chat. So I will click it. We see that uh, there is the uh, input, uh, the text input uh, box that we can enter our questions. Uh, we can ask uh, some very simple questions. How many letters are in the world? Strawberry. Okay, and uh, let's press send. Yeah, we see that it's very, very fast. We see the speed is also printed uh, like uh, below, shows uh, around 120 tokens per second. Wow, that's uh, impressive. And uh, let's, uh, let's try another one. We do see that uh, our GPU is uh, here, it's a com compute, it's used uh, around uh, 50%. So let's, uh, all right, let's uh, try it again. Create uh, a travel plan to to UK. In details, 10 days, summer. All right, let's press and send. Let's pay attention to the right side. I have show you the GPU to see how 
the computer will be using using. Let's see. Let's press send. It shows that the model is thinking and it just started to generating the output. And we see the compute is、uh, has been increased、uh, quite a bit. And on the left side, the generating speed is really really impressive. Well, the token per second is around the fifty three tokens per second. Generated one thousand and three hundred twenty seven tokens in total. And we see that、uh, the thinking part also the reasoning part sort of for like four point six seconds. Well, quite impressive. All right, so I think.、Uh, Mm, you can get an idea that's、uh, quite easy to use, and、uh, for the download,、uh, you can also easy, easily download the model. So let's、uh, try another one because I already downloaded the seven B model. Let's try the the same questions. Create a new chat, and、uh, we choose a new model. So let's、uh, on the on the top side on the center. You can select and choose which model you want to use. So as you can see, I have a 1.5 billion model. There's also a seven billion model. So I will choose the first one. You can also easily customize the parameters for it. So we see that you can can even specify if you want to do like GPU offload or CPU offload only. After you select the model, you you set up everything, and you can click the load model. So as you can see on the right side, it's all like a offload the previous model and load the selected model because the seven billion parameter model is obviously larger, so it just took more VRAM for it. Okay, so let's paste the same question to the chat box and press send. Let's see how it is reasoning and how it is generating. We、we'll、see the compute part; uh, it uh, seems to be more than the previous smaller model. And for the thinking part, we can also click it to see the thinking part. So it seems like for the bigger model, the thinking seems to be longer. And we do see the compute is、uh, stay at the same level. The temperature is at around the sixty Celsius, and we see it has been started to generating the text. And we see the token per second speed is also around the fifty. Wow, that's quite impressive. Lastly, I want to try the larger model, fourteen B. Search for fourteen B, and you can find that、uh, on the first one. It's the Chen Wen fourteen B GGUF format. Click、uh, the download. It can start、uh, the downloading. We see that、uh, it's finalizing the download, and、uh, we got a pop up says that、uh, model has been downloaded completely. Let's、uh, load the model. Yeah, we see our GPU goes up to around the eleven gigabytes of VRAM. Luckily, it's not exceed that. And let's ask the same question again. Press send to start the process. As expected, because it's a bigger model. The thinking part seems、uh, significantly slower than pre previously. So, fourteen billion is one hundred percent more than seven billion. We see that it just starts to generate the final output. Speed wise, it's not.、Uh, Too slow. I feel it's much slower than the seven B parameter model. However, it's quite acceptable speed. What do you think? And we see that it doesn't use too much of the VRAM, and also not much of the RAM or CPU. 
And for the compute part, it's only used around 20%. Temperature of the GPU is not hot at all, 45 Celsius degree. All right, so what do you think? I think uh, if you have an uh, um, AMD GPU, if you use Windows, you should uh, try it. I hope uh, this video is useful to you. Please uh, thumb up, share it. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you in my next video. Goodbye.